Welcome to our second tutorial and our third lesson in our Python Turtle series. So here we are, we have the code that we wrote in our last lesson, where basically we removed all the magic numbers and put them into variables. Um, before we go any further this lesson, what I would like to do is to tidy this up a bit. So I want to do two things. I want to logically group the code so it makes sense. And then I want to comment in and put labels in there so it's actually really obviously signpost what the different parts of this program is. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about the fact that I am going to set up the screen. It's the first thing the program needs to do. So I'm going to say set up screen and then I'm going to put all the code in relation to that together. So we've got the screen variable value here and then I'm going to take these two functions or method calls um, and I'm going to move them up there. So this is all about setting up the screen, all about setting up the window. The next thing I need to do logically is I need to set up my turtle. So I need to create well, what's called instantate or make an instance of my turtle. So I'm going to say create um, turtle instance. Now at the moment I've only got this command in here so I'm going to put that in but I'm also then going to change my shape of my turtle um, and we've talked about it before the fact that it has a heap of different shapes you can have. Um, the one I'm going to choose is arrow right and so I've done that and then the next part is these two variables here. Now these both relate to our shape that we're going to create so I'm going to call this shape parameters. Um, awesome and then the last thing we need to do now is actually draw the shape. So you can see now the code is organized and sorted in such a way it kind of makes logical sense. The, the, the right state of stuff is grouped together. If I know I want to change the values of the screen, I do it up in this section here. If I don't want to do anything in relation to the instance of the turtle, I come down to here and change it. If I want to do anything in relation to the parameters, I come and do it in here. Into that's in relation to the shape. So now that we've done that, I'm going to save this um, file and save as, and I'm going to make this into lesson shoot two. And it's going to, yep. So now I have lesson three, shoot two, um, and I've got my second lot of code here. Okay, so what we're going to do about in this lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about actually how to make your turtle move around the screen a bit more accurately than just saying drive and turn. Because what actually is happening is your turtle, the screen in your turtle is actually over the top of a big grid. It's like a big gra bit of graph paper. And um, what we actually have, are doing is we're telling it, okay, move forward, whatever face your direction, forward to so many pixels, so many points on the graph paper. So um, let's look at the idea of the coordinates here. And here's an example of our window, or what you don't see behind our window. So here we are, we have the X axis, which runs from left to right. And then we have the Y axis, which runs from top to bottom. Right here. In the very center here, we have got zero, zero. You can see these are written, all the different coordinates are written in pairs. So pairs of the bracket around the common between. Now those, the computer term for those is tuple or tuple, people argue about it, I'll call them a tuple, um, but that's our pairing, okay, so the actual value, you can see that the first value is the x value, which is either somewhere in our one between 250 and negative 250, because our screen is 500 wide, and that's 500 between those two there. Um, the same with the x, the x is the second, oh, so the y is the second value, and it goes from 250 down to negative 250. So again, we can see that um, that's in between, that's our 500 range. So zero, zero is right here. Um, if I wanted to go up to this point here, well, that's still zero on the left and right axis, the X axis, but on the up and down axis, it's actually 125. All right, if I wanted to come over to here, well, that's zero on the up and down axis, but it's negative 125 on the left and right axis, which is the X axis. And finally, this point over here, which is on neither axis, but it's actually 200 on the left and right axis, the x-axis, and it's 125 on the up and down axis. So how do we get our turtle to respond to those coordinates? Well, let's come into here, and just to, to I'm just going to comment this code out. And this is a, is, is a cool little trick in, in um, programming. If you need to test some code or remove some code that you don't want to use for a little bite, you just put a comment in front of it, a hashtag in front of it, and again, Python will ignore that. 
So I'm going to make my turtle, um, and I'm going to make it go to a particular coordinate. And thankfully, the actual command for that is go to. And I get an open bracket here, and I now need to put the coordinates in. So let's see if I let's bring our map up here again. If I want to go up to here, so that's zero, one hundred, comma, one hundred twenty-five. So zero on the left and right, or the x-axis, and one hundred twenty-five, and the up and down, which is the y-axis. So if I say zero, comma, one hundred twenty-five, and now if I run that, you'll see the turtle goes straight up. Notice he doesn't turn; he's still facing that way, but it's just moved to that point up there. Right, if I wanted to instead go to the other one, which was negative 125 and 0, I want you to predict. What do you reckon this is going to do? If I run this turtle here, what do you reckon it's going to do? Okay, now they got in mind, let's see. And you can see it's moved to that point. It's still 0 on the up and down axis or the y axis, but on the x axis, the left and right, it's now at negative 125. Okay, so if I then say, if I want to instead go to that 200, and then I go um, go the 125, so it should go up to that point up over that. See how that goes? Yep, and that's our point one of there, 200, and we want to go to 200, and then we want to go to 125. So it's 200 that way, 125 in the up and down. So that all makes sense. Right, so what are we going to do? So what I want to do is I want to draw a border around the outside here. Radio. So, so I want to create a border around the outside there. So let's see, how can I go about doing that? Well, first off, let's bring the, the coordinates back up. So if I'm starting here, well, let's go, how about I go up to 240 and 240, which is like 10 um, pixels short of the out, outer edge. So um, 240, 240, then over here would be negative 240, 240. So that's the X and Y. Then come down here and it's negative 240, negative 240. And then over here, the 240 for the X, negative 240 for the Y, and then back up to here, which is 240, 240, and then I have to return back to the zero. So I've actually got my um, turtle ready to go. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to come into here. I'm going to change it. The first one I said was 240, um, 240, 240. Right, I'm going to copy that, paste that in. And we've got the four corners that I want to go to and then go back to the start. Right, so it's a 240, which is at the top left-hand corner up here. So let's see if I go, then I have to make the X to negative and the X is the first one. So that's negative. Um, and then want to make down the bottom left hand corner. So the X is negative and the Y is negative. So that's negative, negative. Then I need to come over to this side here. So the up and down, so the left and right is positive 240 and the up and down is negative 240. So, and then back up to the top corner, 240 by 240. And then finally, I need to return back to the origin. So I'm ready to draw my hexagon. And now I'm going to uncomment these. Let's see if I can do it this way. No, I can't. So uncomment, uncomment, uncomment. Okay, so let's see. Let's run this and see what happens. Awesome. So it's drawn my border around the outside by using coordinates. And you can see it's drawn there, and then it's drawn to my hexagon. But the problem is this. I don't want this line. I want to move the turtle from here up to there without it actually drawing. And then draw the line, and then move from here back down to here without actually drawing, and then draw the hexagon. So how can I do that? Well, there's another little cool command that turtle has. Um, now if you can imagine turtle is almost like um, it's drawing and the actual symbol they use for it is, is called a pen. So you can actually tell turtle to go pen up which means it's like lifting the pen off the paper. Move to a particular point and then after that point you can say oh, pen down. And then it'll start drawing from that point to this point to this point. And of course, I want to do the same again for this. All 
Right here, pen up, pen down. Right, so now, when it's moving between the initial origin of 0, 0 to 240, you'll have the pen up. Then it'll draw around the outside. And then when it comes back from 240 to the origin, you'll have the pen up. And then the pen will come down and it'll draw the shapes. Let's see if that does what we think. There we go. So there you understand about the idea of coordinates. You understand a little bit of how to use pen up and pen down to allow the turtle to move around the screen without drawing. Um, so that's what we're going to do for this lesson. Now you have the chance to do exercise four. So go off and have a crack at that and um, we'll see you in our next lesson.